Assembly and Preparation of the Mechanical Room Warning! Be careful when opening the mechanical room doors, as some items may have shifted during transport. Before PMCS, in the mechanical room, can be performed while unpacking or setting up the mechanical room. Inspect ratchet and rubber straps for missing hooks, cuts and damage. Inspect stairs for cracked welds. Inspect intake and exhaust fans for damage, loose or missing parts. Inspect awning assembly for damage. Inspect cloth exhaust ducts for damage. Before setting up the CK, unpack the mechanical room at the end of the container with double doors. As items are removed, place them in convenient locations away from the sides of the CK and out of the way of personnel. Find the step attached to the trailer, located under the doors. Remove the two pins that hold it in place, then pull on the step, clearing the step from its stored position. Fold the step down for use. Unlatch and open both mechanical room doors, opening the right door first. Then have one person climb into the mechanical room to assist in removing items. Be careful when opening the mechanical room doors, as some items may have shifted during transport. Unstrap and remove the eight wing jacks from on top of the stairs. Store the rubber straps in any convenient location in the mechanical room. With one person holding the stairs to prevent them from shifting. Loosen the two ratchet straps and remove the ground rod slide hammer from on top of the stairs. Remove the six water cans and any fuel cans if present from between the stair treads. Remove the three stairs and temporarily place them in a convenient location out of the way. Remove the awning support rod and door braces and place them out of the way as well. Remove the MBU fuel can adapter from its storage location to the left of the generator on the mechanical room floor and place it out of the way. Remove the platform and platform rail from the left side of the generator and set them aside. Store the ratchet straps in any convenient location in the mechanical room. Temporarily install the platform to provide a safe standing area for setting up the mechanical room. Begin by hooking one edge of the platform to the bracket on the end of the container. Support the opposite edge of the platform by installing two wing jacks. The platform rail can be installed for additional safety. Unfurl the cloth discharge ducts from the generator, exhaust fan, and air conditioner. They should already be attached to the components with hook and loop tape at one end. Attach them if they are not. Retrieve the awning from its storage location on top of the generator. Attach the awning by screwing the four thumb screws into the threaded holes along the top jam of the mechanical room door frame. Retrieve the generator exhaust elbow pipe from its storage location on top of the generator. Insert the open end of the pipe down through the opening in the awning from the top side. Attach the elbow pipe to the fixed exhaust pipe using the clamp coupler provided. Ensure that the screw of the clamp rests in the dimple before tightening the clamp. Otherwise, the clamp cannot properly tighten. Make sure the outlet end of the elbow pipe is pointing straight upward. Retrieve the long awning support rod and slip the rod through the long loop on the underside of the outboard end of the awning. Place the ends of the rod in the outer holes of the brackets on the doors. Retrieve the two door braces and place the S-shaped end of one brace through one of the center two grommets in the awning and into the corresponding hole in the top of the door jamb.
Place the other end of the brace in the inner hole of the bracket on the door. Install the other door brace in the same manner, placing the S-shaped end through the other grommet in the awning and its corresponding hole. Then, placing the other end of the brace in the hole of the bracket on the other door. Pull the edge of the awning support rod and buckle the straps to the mating buckles attached to the doors. Adjust the buckle strap length if necessary. Tie the ends of the three cloth discharge ducts to the door braces using the attached straps. Remove the platform and the two wing jacks and carry them to the front of the CK for later use. Locate the ends of the two clear plastic air conditioner condensation drain hoses and position them so that condensation drains to the outside of the mechanical room. It may be necessary to place an appropriate container beneath the condensation drain hoses in order to keep the ground near the trailer leveling jacks well drained. Retrieve the MBU fuel can adapter and install it on a filled fuel can. Place the fuel can on the trailer step and secure it with one short rubber strap. Connect the hose from the fuel can adapter to the fuel connection on the left wall, underneath the power entrance panel.